When I was hard stuck silver in 2018, I was doing everything I could to climb. I was gold just two years ago, but I'd taken a full year break from league when I was overseas, and by the time I'd gotten back, I'd regressed straight back into silver. I didn't want to get laughed at by my friends, so I relentlessly tried to get better. I looked up every mobile fire guide, grinded every YouTube video, watched the best player streams, trying to claw back that gold rank that took me years to get to. If only someone had made this video back in 2018, I probably would have gotten diamond by 2020. I could have saved so much time if someone had broken down what exactly the league rank ladder was testing. No one did that for me, so I'm going to make sure I do it for you. Here's the four step method for beating Riot matchmaking at their own game. My name is Rabies and I'm a talentless monkey who started in bronze and finally got diamond. If I can do it and I'm sharing my experiences, there is literally no excuse for you. So everyone knows what meta is in League of Legends. It's the optimal set of champions to play to maximize your chances of winning the game. If you're a little bit more intelligent, you'd also know that there are separate metas for every tier of play and they can differ drastically between solo queue and pro play. What if I told you that there is a meta that transcends a simple champion tier list for your rank? What if I told you that the most important meta to climbing is in a tier list? It's a mindset. The dungeon crawler mindset. If you've played dungeon crawlers before, I'm sure you can sort of get it by now, but let me just explain it to the people who are unfamiliar with the genre. Dungeon crawlers are basically games where you have to navigate through different types of dungeons and caves, killing mobs and leveling up your character. It's like your typical RPG experience. Climbing in League is exactly like progressing in a dungeon crawler. The only thing in League that's different is the uneven progression of difficulty. Instead of smooth progression, you can rapidly oscillate from very easy wins to completely crushing losses. So, how do you adopt this dungeon crawler mindset? Step number one pick your style. Just like how you can pick an archetype of character, you're going to pick a style that you are comfortable with. I'm tired of telling you motherfuckers to one trick, so I'm going to approach it from a different, more inclusive angle this time. I need to make a separate guide to figuring out your style, but for now, let's just say that your favorite champions probably share a particular style. Figure out what it is. The sooner you subscribe to one style, the faster you'll hit your desired rank. Let's bring back the same character selection analogy. If you waste time going back and forth between different archetypes, you think you're going to get past a hard level? No, because your energy is dispersed in all different directions, and you don't have enough reps on one style to figure how to really optimize it. By all means, take your time testing out different shit to figure out what your style is. But once you've found it, stop thinking you're faker and that you need to play 75 unique champions to climb out of silver or something. There's a quote from President Abraham Lincoln that reads, if I had eight hours to cut down a tree, I'd spend the first six sharpening my ax. This is the first and most important step. So make sure you take as much time as you need. Step number two, get good at it. Now that you've figured out your style, it's time to optimize it. This is similar to settling on a character and then grinding walkthroughs on how to play a certain level. You need to understand your chosen champion to the point where you can start recognizing patterns in your games. This breakpoint is different from different elos across different champions, but the generic sweet spot that in my experience I've seen is around 100 to 150 games of that champion per split. Learning unique skills that is congruent with your champion's niche is also another way to rapidly get good at this. Did you settle on an early game roamer like Talon and Akshan? Then your wave management in the first 3 to 6 minutes are extremely crucial. Did you settle on a power farmer like Karthus or Hecarim? Saying no to ganks and perfecting your clear is an important skill. How about if you love playing bulky champions that protect your allies like Shen and Braum? Tethering your carries properly and using spells to peel in team fights is an invaluable skill to have. Whatever style you pick, make sure to zoom in on the core set of skills that attracted you to those champions in the first place. Every archetype has a different role they need to fulfill within the game. You can accelerate your growth by identifying those unique skills and getting really good at them. Step number three, replicate it. Alright, so most of the 50 IQ monkeys are probably clicked off the video for now, so this is where I start dropping some real gems. The most efficient way to climb in League is to get really good at one style to the point where you can successfully execute your game, even if you have underperforming teammates. To use a dungeon crawler mindset again, your skills with the chosen character should get to the point where hard levels get progressively easier because you've started to anticipate the attack patterns of certain bosses. You've anticipated that your teammates won't group on this wave and you ping them repeatedly to remind them or start aggressing and force them to play around you. When you start anticipating your opponents or even your teammates and executing on the plays, that's the sign you are too good for your rank and you have permanently increased your floor. And what happens when you increase your floor? You climb. When you're at step number three, it's all about volume. Even though I'm a big proponent of one to two games a day, I'll allow you playing three to four games per day when you're at this stage. If something has clicked with your side, and you've learned enough to pass all the tests, you are ready to move on to the next level. Or in this case, a new division. Feel free to up your games a little here, and you should find your new baseline pretty quickly. Step number four, replicate. So you've followed my advice and have gotten a new baseline. Guess what happens now? You do the same shit over and over again. The reason why I like calling it the dungeon crawler mentality is because when you really get into it, climbing in League is just a single player game. I don't care how many fucking bronze and silver and gold players tell me this, climbing in League will always be a single player game. It's just you, your chosen style, versus the never ending tidal wave of bullshit. You have to learn to play against to get your desired rank. This is why I get agitated when people start blaming shit like teammates or matchmaking. They don't know what the ladder is actually testing. The League of Legends rank ladder is testing your mastery of one style to a specific degree over a long enough period of time. Pause the fucking video and look at the sentence I've just read now. That's the secret. People who buy into the hype of transcendent players like Faker, Showmaker, and Chovy are deluding themselves into thinking they too can master multiple styles. You can't. That's what I needed to hear when I was fucking cement stuck in silver. Trying to play every single champion because I saw Bjergsen do it or something. You can argue it's a flaw 
well within the system and that versatility should be rewarded. I would agree with that, but it doesn't change the fact that that doesn't matter. Versatility in League of Legends is just a bait that literally makes you much worse and stalls the shit out of your client. You need to understand the importance of perfecting one style to a diamond level if you want to get diamond. This goes for every rank. You can always go on and learn new champions and new styles and try repeating the process over and over again. That's what I did with Diana and Yone. That's its own type of fun, but if you're only focused on getting a higher rank, mastering a specific style is the most important. If you watched the video for this long, you have a top 5 attention span in the world and you really give a fuck about improving your rank. Now, this is just the average template I've made for the unwashed masses of YouTube, but if you enlist into my partnership program, I can make a customized protocol just for you. Instead of it taking 12 years like it did for me, I can fast track your progress so you can have the satisfaction of hitting the rank that you've always wanted. If you want 24-7 access to me so you can finally learn the right mindsets for climbing, feel free to DM me on Discord or book a call on Canonly using the links in the description. Click and watch my champion mastery video here. I go in depth about picking a good champion for your climb based on your preferences and what you want out of ranked. It's literally the most important video on my channel and I highly recommend you watch it. Other than that, good luck on your climb and remember, anyone can get diamond.